Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about system losses. I have explained a few of the system losses in the previous video, like uh, uh, plumbing losses and antenna losses. Remaining losses I am explaining in this video. So, signal processing loss. What do you mean by signal processing loss? When the signal is being processed in the entire microwave transmission line, the signal may be degraded because of the number of components involved in the transmission line. So, for detecting the targets in clusters and extracting the information from radar echo signals, very precise and lossless signal processing is necessary. Why it is, why this point we have to study here it is. The received echo signal strength, I told you already, received echo signal strength, echo strength is in the order of 10 power minus 13 watts. It is in the order of 10 power minus 13 watts. So 10 power minus 13 watts means very, very, very weak signal. What is the amount of signal we are transmitting? megawatts of power. So when we are transmitting megawatts of power, we are receiving 10 power minus 13 watts, approximately picowatts of power we are receiving, so which is very weak signal, which has to be amplified immediately. Okay. Uh, for this type of received echo signal, if the noise is added within the system itself, definitely there will be a uh, lot of exercise is required to get the original information back. That's why the receiver must be a pure and ideal receiver must be considered. That means there is no loss, heavy loss because of the receiver. Okay. So that means uh, among the number of clusters are nothing but stationary echoes. Uh, we need a moving target information that can be identified by using a clear and uh, efficient receiver technologies. <laughs> Various losses uh, accounted during signal processing are mentioned here. So I am giving a list of uh, uh, components which gives uh, what is the amount of loss. Non-matched filter. What do you mean by matched filter and what do you mean by non-matched filter? Matched filter is nothing but IF amplifier. Matched filter is nothing but IF amplifier. And if that is not perfectly matched, then it gives non-matched filter non-matched filter so what is the amount of loss because of this non-matched filter non-matched filter gives a loss of 0 0.5 decibels to 1 decibel loss constant false alarm rate constant false alarm rate means uh, um, even when the target is not there we are getting that the target is there so this is because of several uh, other echoes other than original target so that gives a loss of greater than Two decibels which is very high automatic integrator integrator is nothing but to integrate all the received echo pulses so integration of radar pulses is done because of this integrator so because of this integrator we have we have a loss of 1.5 decibels to 2 decibels limiting loss limiting loss gives 1.5 to 2 decibels sampling loss gives a 2 decibels threshold level loss to decide which is the uh, required echo signal and which is the unwanted echo pulse so that is up to one decibel these are the different uh, losses that a radar system internally generating because of the several components present over the radar receiver next one is collapsing loss indicated by lc so what do you mean by collapsing loss when the signal that means we are already receiving noise samples from the environment are because of the within the radar inputs i told you already thermal noise is present so for this noisy sample see additionally if any noise has been added because of the receiver input uh, receiver internal components that type of loss is nothing but collapsing loss collapsing loss okay already we are receiving signal plus noise pulses and that is again been added with the noise pulses because of the receiver components that is nothing but collapsing loss what it will do it, it degrades the signal information it degrades the signal quality so that collapsing loss lc is indicated by lc is given by collapsing loss is given by lc okay so lc is equal to li 
plus m plus l i of m plus n divided by l i of n that means integration loss l i is nothing but integration loss l i here it is integration loss integration loss for m plus n pulses divided by integration loss for n pulses so where m is the noise pulses n is the signal to noise pulses and l i of m plus n is the integration loss for m plus n pulses nothing but it indicates the collapsing loss and L i of n is nothing but integration loss for n pulses. Another one is propagation effects. What do you mean by propagation effect? Suppose if you take our earth, if you take our earth, earth is not a constant surface always. It is not having a constant surface. Several up and downs are there. Okay. And uh, some buildings are there. In between some buildings are there. On the earth when we are transmitting a signal from the radar system like this uh, the signal will go touches this building and reflected back but we are aiming the signal to should go up to here because this is the target position okay this uh, this signal may not reach up to this point because of the several objects present over the present in between these two like target and radar system and some trees are there and some birds are there Okay, such type of environmental conditions may also degrade the uh, efficiency of the radar system because the signal may not completely touch the target. It may diminish because of the presence of different objects within the uh, environment. So, and one more thing is some up and downs are there. Signal uh, because of this propagation, because of the propagation losses, several effects of this. Uh, um, radar signal may be affected so what are the different losses that we can have in this propagation effects are reflections from the earth surface suppose if the earth surface is not so flat and it is having some uh, hills and mountains that also be considered as uh, in the part of earth so because of these hills and uh, mountains what happens the signal will be reflected back towards the radar system itself which is an unnecessary thing but we are expecting the reflected signal from the target but we are having the reflected signal because of the earth's unusual conditions so reflections from the earth surface that is a one problem coming under the propagation effects another thing is refraction 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 is nothing but some signal may go and penetrate into the other medium okay like a building if you are taking we are thinking that the signal will be reflected back suppose the signal may turn into other direction and goes beyond that okay and trees so the due to refraction of the signal may we may miss some part of the signal propagation in atmospheric ducts i told you already so different types of uh, different uh, presence uh, different types of things are present in the atmosphere because of that signal may be lost Another one is attenuation in clear atmosphere. Attenuation in clear atmosphere. In clear atmosphere also signal cannot be propagated because of lack of impurities. Okay, here you may have a doubt why we are having the loss even in the clear atmosphere. In the clear atmosphere, there are no particles. That means there are no carriers to take the signal in to other objects so that means we i am saying that a radar system is here that radar system is transmitting a signal that is used to transmit the signal okay when this signal goes as this signal is going means some impurities are there in the atmosphere that is used to transmit the signal but in the clear atmosphere as there are no impurities it cannot the signal cannot propagate easily okay so that means some uh, some part of uh, uh, bad environmental conditions are also there to propagate the signal okay so these are the different propagation effects coming under this losses another one is the last one is operator loss what do you mean by operator loss what happens to the operator okay when we are operating with this radar system to observe the received echo signals one operator should be there in front of the PPI display or ESCOPE display, whatever the display unit we are using in front of that, a one person should be there to identify the 
loss of information. Suppose if the same operator is working for continuously for more than hours, then definitely he will be tired and because of this tiredness, uh, he cannot uh, give the correct information always. So definitely that, that will lead to uh, some loss. So when distracted, tired, overloaded or not properly trained, the performance of the operator will definitely decrease. There is a little guidance available on how to account the performance of the operator. That means when this problem occurs, definitely the operator should be changed or any other remedies we need to consider. So based on both empirical and the experimental results, the study gives the operator efficiency factor as operator efficiency factor rho naught is equal to 0.7 where it is here 0.7 into pd square so rho naught is nothing but efficiency operator efficiency factor operator operator efficiency factor that is given by rho naught is equal to 0.7 times the pd Square. What do you mean by P PD? Probability of detection. PD is nothing but probability of detection of the target. Probability of detection of the target. Okay. So PD square. This is the just uh, loss. How to identify what is the amount of loss present in the operator loss. So these are the losses or system losses present in the radar system receivers. Thank you.